Good evening guys, welcome to the video. My name is Saumil Shah, I work as a software engineer. This video essentially I'm going to be talking about a very important topic that is uh, how do we essentially enable client side and server side encryption on S3 so that our data is secured, right? How do we essentially uh, leverage the use of KMS to encrypt the objects when we upload it to S3? And at the end, I want to talk about important thing that is how can we enforce a rule? For example, when anyone uploads data, if a KMS key, if a KMS ID is not provided automatically, uh, it will show you an access denied. So we want to write a policy that uh, enforces that, right? So this video is all about that KMS and essentially encrypting objects. Okay. So let me share my screen. I'm going to read a definition and then we'll go straight into action. There are many use cases to prevent upload of unencrypted objects to S3, but the underlying objective is to protect the confidentiality and the integrity of objects stored in the buckets. OK, so that's what uh, the underlying the main objective is right now. What I want to show you is, uh, as you can see, guys, you know, uh, I have a code and I'll leave all the code in the description. So not to worry. I have a simple client object and I know I just want to teach you for learning purposes. I have a client object and I'm uploading a sample data here. Uh, the data was uploaded to S3 as you can see a random UID and JSON and if you open up the file I can clearly see the data right. Um, well if if your bucket was public you know the, there are a lot of things you want to enable. Uh, you want to definitely encrypt all these objects right. So uh, you definitely want to do that. So now I'm going to show you how to do that right. So you can go to properties right. Uh, after going to properties, uh, first of all, before that, we need to essentially create an AWS KMS. Um, so I'm going to go to AWS KMS and I'm going to click on create key. Uh, I'm going to click on symmetric. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to say my super key. Uh, so I'm going to give it an alias, uh, whatever you feel like, uh, you know, uh, essentially it's a good idea to tag as well. I already have a couple of them, but uh, you know, so I'm going to click on. Um, so over here, it's going to ask you the who's the administrator, right? So I'm going to select Somil is the administrator here right now. Uh, then you can also uh, tell like, um, for example, define the key usage permission on this account. So you can define all of that. Again, I'm going to select uh, Somil because I just have one user, but you could select multiple user, right? Uh, you can click on next and once that is done, you can click on finish. Now your a AWS KMS key is ready. This is your KMS key. Now, essentially we want to enable that on the bucket level, right? So come to the bucket and then scroll down and where it says default encryption, click on edit, uh, click on enable, then click on AWS KMS and click on choose from KMS key. Um, so my super key, you want to click on that and then click on enable. So now what you have done is you have enabled KMS encryption on your bucket. But now you want to make sure that people only upload encrypted objects. How do I uh, essentially put a policy? Uh, so this one, as I said, you know, from this article by Mr. Michael, which was written in 2016, he describes all of that. So Mr. Michael says that uh, uh, he, in his documentation, he clearly says um, version. So for put objects, right? So anyone who essentially puts data uh, deny incorrect encryption header. So if if any of the encryption headers are not there, we want to simply deny that. So you're saying that, hey, if uh, KMS encryption headers are not there, simply deny it. If server side encryption is not there, deny the object. I don't want the user to be able to upload that data too. So um, we, put, we, we select that. All you got to do, I'll put this in the description. All you got to do is just change this as your placeholder to your bucket name that on which you are for on which you want to enforce this rule. Um, I have copied that and now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to permissions right there. Scroll away all the way on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to click on edit where it says bucket policy and then I'm going to dump everything here. Okay, so I have dumped everything here and then I'm going to click on save changes. At this point, you know, uh, the policy has been enforced on the bucket. Uh, please make sure your bucket is uh, private, you know, uh, it, uh, you know, it's want to block all the public access uh, as well. So we'll click on confirm. So at this point, guys, everything is ready on my S3 bucket. Now, how do you use the Python code to do that? So I have a very simple function. Um, don't worry, you know, uh, I'll leave all the snippets there in the description. So I create an S3 client object. Then I create a KMS uh, object, right? A Boto3 KMS object. Now, um, over here where it says uh, you have to provide your access key, secret key, right? So I created essentially a client object for S3 and KMS. After this point, this is the data that I want to upload, right? Some sample data that I'm showing you here, right? Now you need to encrypt that using KMS, right? So KMS dot encrypt this key ID essentially will be your key ID, uh, the one that you created on KMS. 
So if I can go there, I, I actually had it on my console. Oh yeah, so this one, uh, copy copy this. And I think it's this, this key right here. So now dump that key here. Okay, uh, we'll put this here. Uh, okay, so now you have put, put the uh, you know KMS key here. Now what you wanna do guys is, uh, we are saying that, hey, KMS.encrypt, we are encrypting that. Uh, after encrypting the, the, the data, then we are essentially convert, converting that into a base uh, 64, um, you know, string. And after that, I'm essentially printing it though. And now uh, in put objects now, before remember, we, we did not do any of this thing, right? Over here, we just simply did put object. But now guys here, we want to do essentially bucket name. We are providing the key. Our body is encrypted ciphertext. We are providing an encrypted ciphertext. Server side encryption as KMS. And then again, I'm going to put my KMS key here. So I'm gonna put my KMS key here. Now I'm gonna try to upload the data again. So now I'm gonna call secure and then run the run the code. So now your data will be essentially encrypted uh, using KMS on server side uh, and client side both, right? On, we have enabled all of that. And now you can see guys beautifully, uh, we have the data. So now if you go to the bucket now and I just wanna really quick show you without wasting much of time, I think this is the one. I'll download it now since we have encrypted the object and we have also base 64 encoded that object is much more safe now so tomorrow let's say this object you know someone gets access to the object they're not gonna know anything because it's all encoded string now uh, so now you can decode the object using the same cipher key essentially and then decode your base 64 string so a great tutorial right um, so i would say a thanks to mr michael who wrote this article and i was simply you know reading more about kms and you know you know that's where i learned about this part right i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and what i'll do is i'll leave the policy the pseudo sample code in the description so you can check that out if you have any more questions let me know your question in the comment section below with that being said thank you so much for watching keep smiling keep programming and see you guys in the next video